In the third month of the children of Israel's departure from Egypt on this day, they arrived in the desert of Sinai. They journeyed from Rephidim and they arrived in the desert of Sinai and they encamped in the desert and Israel encamped there opposite the mountain. Moses ascended to God and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, So shall you say to the house of Jacob, Tell the sons of Israel, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and I brought you to me. And now if you obey me and keep my coven covenant, you shall be to me a treasure out of all peoples, for mine is the entire earth. You shall be to me a kingdom of princes and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the children of Israel. Moses came and summoned the elders of Israel and placed before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. And all the people replied in unison and said, All that the Lord has spoken, we shall do. Moses took the words of the people back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am coming to you in the thickness of the cloud in order that the people hear when I speak to you and they will also believe in you forever and Moses relayed the words of the people to the Lord the Lord said to Moses go to the people and prepare them today and tomorrow and they shall wash their garments they shall be prepared for the third day for on the third day the Lord will descend before the eyes of all the people upon Mount Sinai you shall set boundaries for the people around, saying, Beware of ascending the mountain or touching its edge. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. No hand shall touch it, for he shall be stoned or cast down, whether a man or beast he shall not live. When the ram's horn sounds a long drawn-out blast, they may ascend the mountain. So Moses descended from the mountain to the people. He prepared the people, and they wash their garments. He said to the people, Be ready for three days. Do not go near a woman. It came to pass on the third day when it was morning that there were thunderclaps and lightning flashes and a thick cloud was upon the mountain, a very powerful blast of shofar. The entire nation that was in the camp shuddered. Moses brought the people out toward God from the camp and they stood in the bottom of the mountain. The entire Mount Sinai smoked because the Lord had descended upon it in fire and its smoke ascended like the smoke of the kiln and the entire mountain quaked violently. The sound of the shofar grew increasingly stronger. Moses would speak and God would answer him with a voice. The Lord descended upon Mount Sinai to the peak of the mountain and the Lord summoned Moses to the peak of the mountain and Moses ascended. The Lord said to Moses, Go down, warn the people, lest they break their formation to go near to the Lord, to see, and many of them will fall. And also the priests who go near to the Lord shall prepare themselves, lest the Lord wreck destruction upon them. Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot ascend to Mount Sinai, for he warned us, saying, Set boundaries for the mountain and sanctify it. But the Lord said to him, Go, descend. Then you shall ascend with an Aaron with you. But the priests and the populace shall not break their formation to ascend to the Lord, lest he wreak destruction upon them. So Moses went down to the people and said this to them.